And this is a pivot table that I created from a previous video. I'm going to go ahead and just click on that pivot table so the pane on the right will appear and I can make any sort of changes I want with this pivot table. I'm going to select this payment variable in my pivot table fields and I'm going to drag it into filters. And um, there will be a, a drop down that will appear on the pivot table. I believe this text box right here is kind of hiding it. So let me just move it out of the way. And I have this drop down where I can select the subset that I'm interested in. So if I just want to show customers who use the PayPal method, I'll select that, press OK, and my pivot table will automatically focus on that subset of, of data. Um, and you are able to do filters uh, without using the filter box. So let me just put this back into its original spot. Here where it has row labels and just a drop down, you can click on that and also filter this based off of, in our case, product. So if I just want to focus on just strictly DVDs, I'll just unselect everything and just check mark DVDs, press OK, and I'll just get that information on my pivot table. All right, so you have a couple of ways when it comes down to filtering. Now, another way that you could filter or subset your data in your pivot table is using the slicer. It's pretty straightforward to use. So I'm going to click on my pivot table analyze and from analyze I'm going to select the insert slicer. I have this dialog box that appears and I choose what variable I'm interested in slicing my data which is just another way of filtering or subsetting that data. I'll go ahead and select the payment source. Press OK and I have these two boxes. It represents the variables as well as the distinct values within them. Let me just go ahead and unfilter. I'll do it this way. Data clear. And now I'll work on slicers. I'll pay attention to emails. So when I click on email, it's just going to subset that information that I have here on those who used email as a source. Uh, and if I want it just strictly web, then I'll select the web. And notice how as I'm clicking on these two values, the information on the pivot table changes. So let me just delete these and go to analyze, insert slicer under the filter, select region, press OK. And then we have this type of box that will appear. If I want to subset just focusing on the east region, you'll notice that the rest of this stuff disappears. And if I just want to focus on north and south only, then I'll just click on the multi-select option. And I'll select south and north. OK, so hopefully this gives you a better idea of how you could filter information focusing on particular values within the database.